Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I'm wearing a hat. I usually don't. Uh, <laughs> hope you don't mind. Today, I wanted to bring to you uh, some new Phoebuses we just got. And what's special about them? They're women's watches. They're women's divers. And the women's dive market uh, is not one that's saturated at all. There actually is not much out there for women, especially uh, in my store. So I wanted to bring to you the CNIMF. I think I have four or five of them here to show you. Uh, they are not unisex. They're not mid-size like the SKX-013 and that women could wear them. These are clearly specifically designed uh, with a, a women's wrist and taste in mind. Uh, so we'll get over and check those out. I am doing my SKX that I did with the blue hands and the ceramic bezel. And I went back to the Seagull Chrono on that uh, two-tone, that, that khaki and uh, green strap, uh, seatbelt strap. It's pretty cool, very comfortable. Anyway, uh, let's check out the Sea Nymph. So the new Phoebus Sea Nymph comes in a variety of colors. I have five of them here. Uh, it's pretty obvious, right? Black, orange, red, blue, and white. Uh, you know, looking at them, I don't think anyone would really mistake them as a men's watch. Certainly the more vibrant colors would, uh, could this pass as a men's mid-size diver? I don't know. I guess it's up to you if you really wanted to do it. But um, personally, I think they really all exude women's watch qualities. But I will start with, hmm, I'm going to go with the white. I'll start with the white one, and, and then I'll show you the rest of them. As usual, they're all the same uh, size and specs for the most part. So the Sea Nymph is a 36 millimeter diameter watch. Now you'd say, okay, 36, that's like the SKX, that's like a men's mid-size diver. It is, but uh, being a dive watch, you do need to be a certain size. It needs to be legible, it needs to have a rotating bezel, uh, it needs to be easy to read. Uh, there's so much about it that, you know, a 28 or a 31 would just never work in a watch like this. It, it simply, the glass would be too small. Uh, so it's a, it's a 36 millimeter diameter watch. It's around, oh, 12 millimeters thick to uh, the dome of the crystal. It is sapphire. It is 42 on the tip to tip. And it is an 18 millimeter lug. So, you know, strap, there are plenty of strap options. The watch does come with a secondary strap in the package, and I'll show you. And as you saw when I flipped it, it's got quick-release spring pins. Now you just pull that back, and the bracelet comes out. Uh, the, the strap comes off, excuse me. Inside, she runs on, sees a she, right? It runs on a Swiss Ronda 705 quartz movement. It is a screwed-down crown, so you have to unscrew it. Deploys. Pull it out two clicks to change the time. And then one click to change the date at the bottom, 6 o'clock position. Push down and turn uh, to get your 300 meters, 300 meters, that's crazy, of water resistance back. Uh, it is, so like I said, it comes delivered on a, a nice rally strap. It does have a beautiful 120 click unidirectional bezel. Nice sawtooth on the outside, very aggressive I'd say for a woman's watch, good polish to it. I. Uh, the bezel, though, is not a conventional diving bezel. It's your 12-hour bezel. You use it to track a second time zone, uh, elapsed hours since since uh, some event last passed. Uh, kind of an interesting choice. Not sure why they didn't go with a 60-minute diving bezel, but you know, whatever. At least we've got a women's dive watch, right? Nice buckle. Strap. Check out the case back. Beautifully done. Kind of a picture of a diver there. Nicely etched. Ladies' diver. It even says it. Ladies' diver the Swiss movement, and it's the uh, 300 meters of water resistance. Let me show you the other, the strap that it comes with. So I'm not going to de-plastic all the straps. I've got like six straps here. It's a pain in the butt to get them back in. Uh, but it's a regular white. Actually, the white one happens to be a little bit off-white or creamish colored rubber strap. And obviously for diving, you'd want the rubber strap. But the strap comes with its own pins, and they are quick release, which I think is really... It just Somebody thought about this. Somebody gave it <laughs> some rationale and some thought. And said, okay, well, this has quick release pins. So with the spare strap, we got to give them quick release pins also to, you know, to make it easy to change the straps up. Let's let's pull in on the dial a bit. So this is the white version. The dial dial is a bit silverish. The loom is a beautiful blue. You see the bezel has loom as well. Nice silver hands, red seconds hand. Good detail to the dial with that swirl or that eyeball, or that you know, the kind of <laughs> almost like a gold, golden eye kind of thing from Bond. Just really cool looking. Lots of, lots of good details here. Let's, um, 
I think I will show you the other colors quickly, and then we'll do a loom loom shot of all of them together, so you can check it out. They all have a BGW9 loom on them. Uh, so let's um let's zoom out a bit. And then quickly, uh, they're all model number P. Oh, I didn't say price or models, right? They're all PX021, and then there's a letter after that for the color. Um, I don't know what they all are. You can see them on the website. There, there will be a link uh, below for you to check out. Uh, they all are 200, about 200 bucks, which I think is a steal. Uh, could they have made this into an automatic? Probably. That Maybe that's coming. I don't know. Um, uh, most women just want a diver. They're generally not concerned if it's an automatic or not or they don't care. My wife is one of the very few people that actually knows what an automatic is because she has loads of them. Um, so let's go from the white, we'll move into the red. Beautifully done. Very nice. Red dial, same detail on the dial. I think we can pump it up a little bit, see a little more of the detail. The bezel is almost like, um, I guess, I don't think it's ceramic. I think it's like sapphire coated. Beautifully done. Really nice red uh, rally strap. And then you also get a red rubber strap. Same deal. All of them come with a secondary strap. I'm not going to show you the rest of the straps. Just wanted to just check that out. Uh, move on to the blue. Here's the blue guy or blue girl. Sorry. Really nice looking. Whoops. Uh, we have a black. Nice as well. And the last one is the orange. So all of them are 200 bucks. They all have the same, you know, DNA to them. 36 millimeter case, 42 tip to tip. Sapphire crystal, double dome sapphire crystal. I mean, this, I can't believe the stuff this brand puts out for the money. It is absolutely unreal. So what I'm going to do is I'll line them all up just for, you know, a quick loom shot. I'll put them all in order like this. Uh, the only one, the odd bezel out, really, is the orange guy. Uh, I'm not sure. It's definitely a different color on the on the bezel. I'm not sure if it's loomed or not. I guess I will be surprised and find out just like you. Um, but let's see what they all look like um, when they light up. So they glow really, really well. Uh, they all glow. Check that out. So you can watch me pick them up and put them down. I know this one's white in my left hand. I think this is red now in my right hand. I believe this is orange, blue, and then black. Find out in a second if I'm if I'm right or not. I'm not sure, uh, but easily they glow really well. Let's um, I will put one on my wrist just so you can check it out. My uh, nice hairy womanly wrist, and uh, let's finish up the video. So lights on. I think my uh, my color. My color uh, guessing was correct. I think everything was <laughs> was right. The white, red, orange, blue, and black. Uh, let me let me put on the blue one, I guess, and uh, we'll finish it. So again, not the greatest judge. <laughs> my wife isn't around right now, or else I probably would have borrowed her wrist. Uh, but you can see. So my wrist is six and three quarters, which is probably oh for a woman. Obviously, it's a it's normal to large. I would say. Um, but so you can see where I am on the uh, on the strap easily can go you know to a five and change inch wrist down this way and can accommodate a little bit larger as well uh, 18 millimeters though so your options although we don't sell much in the way of 18 18 millimeter straps you can go online and find loads of rubber straps leather straps nylon straps seatbelt straps whatever you like in 18 millimeters so I think it's a winner uh, bravo uh, for doing this hopefully they come out with an automatic this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you a, a bunch of the uh, new Phoebus Sea Nymph Ladies Divers. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.